Right, okay. Uh, video. Guys, there's quite a bit I want to get through, right? So, um, you're going to have to put up with, um, you know, the croaky voice and that because I've got a cold. Um, so, anyway. First thing, Gigi, let me put, you know, your mind at ease. Um, you asked the question about the GJ trade and you said that, you know, price... Um, uh, went back to the four hour orange line I think it's here you were talking about and you said you were going to get in but there are two things you did wrong here first of all if you look at the price here this candle right, didn't close below this candle here right? so straight away you, you, you did wrong you did wrong if that's where you know you were thinking of um, where you took the trade from Right. Secondly, it was a flash crash. Okay, when these things happen, um, the market doesn't um, kind of uh, believe that the that you know that currency pair's price should be at that level, and it usually immediately corrects itself. And um, basically, that's what it did. If you look on the daily chart here, there was the flash crash, and look where price closed. You know, it's not far off where it started the previous day. Okay, so um, if you see them, I, I, if I were you, I would just um, stay away until the market sorted itself out again. Okay, um, yeah, that's about all, all I wanted to say on that, GG. A um, couple of other things. Uh, here we go. Five minute signals, right. Let's have a look at these five minute signals. Okay, look. Yellow's here, reversed a bit. Yellow here reversed a bit look what the whites do look what the whites do guys if, if price is going in one direction and then a white appears it will continue on it in that direction but they don't work along alone I should say I'll show you in a moment right but look yellow be followed by a green and then look the white it's not if the whites not starting the move it's the yellow or the green okay G, G card green right but they don't work alone look and there's a you know, a good example of what the whites do to continue the move. Okay, um, uh, as you can see there, turned out to be nice. But again, as I was saying, they do not work alone. Prime example, um, there's your yellow on the, G the UCAD. Green there, green there, white. Look at the help it got. Look at the help it got it had. You know, signals on 15 and 30, and you were way outside on the um, uh, one hour. And look at the four hour. Every time it's hit there, it's gone down. Okay, so um, again, just look at the GU. It didn't have a 15 minute, and look how it struggled. Same with the EU. Look, it had nothing helping it. This has only just appeared here on the 30 minute, but it had nothing helping it. And look how it struggled. Okay, so you do not just think, oh yeah, yellow signal, I'm getting in. You know, you still need a story. Okay, guys. Now, just getting back to those um, uh, Japanese trades again. At the, this, at the beginning of the year, Jacqueline said to me, and you can quite clearly see in the top left corner there the date, that um, her analysis pointed to um, it being the year of the yen. Okay, and well, <laughs> there you go, Jacqueline. You know, almost 2,000 pips on the EJ. And on the GJ, look at this. 2,000, oh, oh, over 2,500 pips. Okay, from the start of the year to the end of the year. So, you know, you were spot on, darling. Um, okay, let's... Let's move on. Right, okay. Uh, what was the first trade I wanted to show you? I think some Well, I can use them on paper trading anyway. Ah, oh, the paper trading videos. Okay. Let's go to one of the. I think. We'll look at this one here. Okay, guys. Right. Alright, right, right, right. Now then. How many times have you heard BR say we are trading in between? How many times have you heard that? Right? Some of you are probably not sure what he means. 
Uh, no, I'm going to show you exactly what it means. We, it's how we trade. It's how we've traded. Well, pretty much for as long as I can remember now. Uh, certainly since you know the, the systems look like this. Um, right. So you know how I um, judge where price is going to by the signals on you know the one and fours. Okay, but there's something else that I do prior um, to looking at that. I look at what is happening um, basically on correlation I'll, I'll look for two pairs that are correlating if two pairs are correlating really nicely I will trade those two pairs okay um, and as you can quite clearly see if you look on the five minutes here the GU and the GCAT are following each other pretty much pretty much um, following each other um, another a uh, good example of how to trade the GCAD is to look what the UCAD and the GU are doing um, and at the moment they, they, you know, they've both been going up on these nice trends okay so the GCAD's going to go up alright guys um, now I know you'll see some arrows in here I think MT's pointing out certain trades um, and um, it, it does indeed point this one out here okay now I know it's 25 past 9 when the recording was started but I was in this trade now I'm not saying you should be okay I'm not saying you should be and I'll tell you why I was in this trade okay I jumped the gun a bit okay but it doesn't matter um, to me because I'm prepared to move my stop loss whereas some of you are not okay now if a lot of you will remember that I told Rocky at the time to look for the bounce off the 30 minute orange line okay now why did I say that why did I say to look for it off the 30 minute orange line okay because the one hour signal had done its job then it had taken price to the uh, 30 minute orange line okay we didn't get a 4 I also said to keep an eye out for that in case one appeared okay because we're that far outside here you've got an 8 hour blue if a 4 hour signal appears then you know it's going to keep going down and uh, you know it would have broke the um, 30 minute orange line as it happens it didn't appear and the GU was a lovely trade off this however um, when when BR says we're trading in between basically this is how I view it okay you've got a one hour signal which has taken price to the 30 minute orange line okay so that 30 minute orange line if no four hour signal no extra one hour signal and no 30 minute or 15 minute signal down appears then that 30 minute orange line is going to become support okay in other words it's going to become a place for an uptrend where you can take a trade to the upside all right because the only thing that's going to force price down through that 30 minute orange line is a new signal okay on you know pretty much I, th I would think a four hour would definitely force it through maybe a one hour might force it through as well 30 minute maybe uh, 15 minute probably not you know it might just push it down a little bit and then it'll bounce off it again but that's how you should view it now then the other thing is sometimes we don't get signals on the five minutes right but I have said this before you should be looking on the HA for your entry point so if we get a HA signal on the HA charts right because we are bouncing off this um, 30 minute orange line and, and because we are now trading between these two lines this support here the orange line and the BB band which is resistance now okay you can quite clearly see that on an uptrend for an uptrend to continue going up it has to break resistance but what it doesn't do is break support and it won't as I've said break support without extra signals okay so it's a safe trade okay uh, again it should help you to keep focusing on the one and fours as well because if a four hour did appear then it would you know that that be if you were in this trade now because you've got this signal that would be a time to get out if a four hour appeared all right so basically that is what you know we mean by um, uh, or BR means by trading in between I presume that's what it means you know it's, it's 
basically how I see it. Okay. Right, so again, you've got the signal, you're getting momentum, bouncing off the 30 minute orange line, you should be in this trade now. Even if it goes against you a bit, you should not panic, you should be in it. Right, I mentioned com currency correlation with the GCAD. Okay, alright, you've got a one hour and you're thinking it's coming down to here, but what have I just said about it's correlating with the GU? Okay, if the pound is going up against the US dollar, then the pound is strong, guys and the US dollar is the strongest currency okay um, it's stronger than the CAD so basically the GU and the GCAD will go up this time as you can quite clearly see it's not going off the 30 minute it's going off the 15 minute orange line alright that's just because the pound is, is you know strong um, uh, and uh, the dollar's not involved in this. If the, seriously, guys, if the pound is strong against the dollar, uh, unless oil, you know, is really flashing madly here, then the, the um, GCAD will be going the same direction. Okay. Um, again, we've not got a signal. I think that's MT's arrow, right? Isn't it? So if you want to wait for a signal here, wait for a signal here. Um, you're getting momentum some people will be in off this okay um, yeah let's fast forward a bit because as I say I want to get a, a few trades in again look people might be panicking here because you know it went a little bit red there but don't worry these uh, unless you know a new signal appears here or even here or you know here down now then it's not gonna go down okay it's gonna go up it's gonna continue with the trend Okay, the same with the GCAD. But again, there was your signal. Okay, you could have waited for that. Yes, you might be a, little, a few pips behind now, but don't panic. Okay, fast forward and look. Look at that. Oof. Straight up. You even got confirmation of the 15s as well. You could have, you could literally have waited for that. You see, the thing is with these trades, guys, these number twos, right? Um. The, the, you're going to be looking from support here as I've already said the 15 minute orange line is support now right to at least the the, um, uh, the purple line which is the BB band which is resistance you're going to be looking there right as y your exit okay unless another signal appears down here or down here or, or, or down here you know that that will be the place to stop trading it up and if you're scalping this was a scalp here you know this was a scalp here right and then when it comes back down again to the orange line on the five minute charts if you get green momentum again take it again if you're scalping if you're doing the longer term trades and you know you were in from the bounce off this orange line here and you're going to stay in until you hit the BB band or an arrow appears here here or here against you okay you understand that it's not hard to understand guys you know you know where price is going because of this the 15s have pretty much confirmed it for you and these were big big trades guys big trades big trades you know okay so uh, as I say I'm gonna keep fast forwarding through guys because um, I need to get a wriggle on uh, there you can see so your first scalp you might have said right we're getting red momentum now I'm out so you wait for it to come back a bit green momentum back in again okay same on the, with the GCAD okay even if you know like, like this really shoots down here the, 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 when you'd look at the, the setup it's still the number two and you're bouncing you could even um, you know you could have even taken that when it come back down there and taken it up I know it's you know you know arrow on the HA yet but anyway let's move on a bit uh, and again come on let's see if we can get to again look if you look on the GCAT there look what happened it comes to the 5 minute um, OL and oh this time it's correlating with the cat the UCAT UCAT's um, pretty strong as well alright 
Okay, so let's have a look. Again, look, look at the GU, look, it's hit the five minute orange line. There was nothing to stop it continuing. There was no five minute arrow down. There was no 15 minute arrow down. There's no 30 down, right? Okay, there's no one hour, no four hour down. So this was gonna continue on up. Okay, the same with the GCAD. You know, there's nothing to say it's not gonna, you know, continue to go up. Okay, so it bounced off the five minute orange line. All right, so at the moment, there's nothing to tell you to get out of this trade on the GU or the GCAD. Some would have, some would have taken, you know, a trade there, got out here and bid, maybe got back into the upside there and back out now waiting for the green momentum again to go back in. No problem. There's no problem with doing that. All right, it's just, um, again, look, you see what happened. It shot back up again. Coming back to the orange again now. Uh, this this kind of time just gone 10 o'clock is usually news so you know if, if these do react again as I say you can get out and then get back in with, back in with the green momentum off the orange lines All right. yes you can say well the GCAD now has got something against it um, a 30 minute and a 1 hour ok but the thing is with this look at the time you just had a news release and I'm pretty sure that that would have had, you know, um, an effect uh, and probably the reason for these two showing up here. Okay. Let's move on. And again, look, GU just hit the five minute orange line and continued up. Again, why? Because there's nothing saying it's not going to do that. Okay, there's nothing. The GCAD's gone a bit further. Right, it's going to hit this orange line here. Right, and at that point, um, you know, it, uh, if this doesn't turn red yellow, I don't think it's going to go down. I think it'll bounce back up, okay? And maybe these will disappear as well. Alright, so let's move on up. <coughs> right, if you're following the rules, then you shouldn't have taken this up, okay? because you had these against you okay although you were bouncing here and you were bouncing here right that's up to you i know br would have taken that because he understands what's going to happen when uh price hit the 15 minute orange line all right excuse me um gu again looks hit five minute going up again Okay, but if, as I say, if you're going to follow the rules to the letter, then you shouldn't have taken that one. Um, yeah, let me see. See, it didn't really go up, it come back down. So, if you want to wait for a, another Heikenashi signal, then you can do. Same with a GU. Let's come down, hitting the orange line here. If you're scalping, wait for another signal here up. Or at least, you know, momentum. <coughs> yeah, you see, look, it disappeared. The 30 minute GCAD had disappeared. You've hit the 15 minute orange line and up she goes again. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, let's go and move on. Again, look, GU. Hit the 15 this time, not, not going above. It keeps happening that. Move past it. Uh, not going below, sorry, and bang up again, and look at the GCAT there, guys, look, the, the, the signal appeared, and look what happened, <sighs> shot up, so if you waited for the HJ signals, you know, you got one here, but, I mean, the trade went from here with the GU, but you had nothing against you on your GU, saying you couldn't take this up here when green momentum flashed, all right, whereas with the GCAT, you did have that signal down here, and a signal down on the one hour, waited for the H8 and up she went again alright this time if you look both the CAD and the GU are going up GCAD's only going one way ok that's currency correlation ok right let's get to a point where they start to reverse this as I say um, if, if you're going to do the open TPs um, then you'd still be in now but again MT asked me to point this out guys look what happens when you go through orange lines, they come back and retest. See it? It's gone up and it's come back, retesting and now going up again. 
So that's just what they do. It's like even on the the, the UCAD there, you can see it's come back to the orange line and retested it and then shot back up. You know, same on the um, level GCAD. You know, that's retested. Come back here, retested, went up. Okay. Um, let's just move on again. Right, and there you go. Now, 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 now. I'm just going to pause this. Right. Um, when when these signals appear on the five minute, okay, this is when, even if it continues on up, this is when you should stop trading. The reason for this, now straight stop trading this up, is not just because it's a five minute signal on its own. Look where you are. You're on the BB bands on the 15 minute. You're on resistance BB band on 30 minute. Look what happened last time. Look at the one hour. Exactly the same happened previously. And you've got some kind of MIM there now. Right, so, and a blue. Blue to boot. Okay. BB bands again. Way outside here. Uh, way outside there with, a, you know, an 8 hour blue. So, what you should be doing now, I'll run it now. Um, is thinking right well I'm not going to take this up anymore I might close my trade to the upside and then start looking for number ones okay you start looking GCAD as well there you go you see flashing yellow uh, start looking for the number one trade which means you know what, what uh, one hour signals um, maybe fresh 15s down maybe 30s down but th th this is where I would say right okay because I've hit this resistance here taking it from support which was the orange line to resistance that's the trade closed okay you, you sometimes see me or uh, BR say trade closed at blah 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 and that's why because we hit these lines okay I know you think oh we can keep going up we can but what if it doesn't and it bombs on you you know you well and truly in it okay so let's just pass forward a bit and there you go there you go look what happened you know and look at and look at the one hours now look right and again guys um especially where the gu is concerned here what formation is this up down up down right if you don't know what double tops are if you don't know what double bottoms are right go do a bit of homework Right, because these are a powerful, powerful setup. It's why a MIM works, and that's that's a MIM. It's why a MIM works so powerful. Okay. Again, should you have taken this trade? If you did, well done. If you didn't, you'll get another opportunity. All right, because number one, it's going to come back, bounce back up, and then you'll get another chance to take it down. All right. So you didn't have to take this i know some of you say oh yeah but the one hour signal disappeared on me and um you know so if it disappeared on you then don't take don't take the first um this, oh god people ringing don't take the first trade wait for the second trade you know you don't have to take the first trade all right um i know they were nice moves they were bloody big moves these especially on the GCAD um, I think the moves up I think this move up here was 40 odd pips and the same on the GCAD that was 50 odd pips here right and then these na moves now are massive massive okay so I know you're thinking oh god you know I've missed this move right but that's the point you could have taken this move all right and then it just bounced and went back against you because it's not quite happy hour but it seems to have come a bit early this time but this is why I have a larger um, stop loss and why I am prepared to move my stop loss if I have to okay because if I do get in on the first trade here right and it goes against me a bit I'm prepared for it because I know it's gonna pan out okay all right, so let's fast forward and I'll show you the second entry point. Well, you could have said there, and there is a wick, but I wouldn't have um, taken that yet. Oh yeah, because you've got this signal here. So it, it depends, you're getting momentum. So yeah, I probably would have got in here. It wouldn't have worried me. 
you know and the same here I know you've got a signal against you but you're getting momentum and you've pierced the orange line here so even if it goes against me a bit here I'm not too worried if you want to wait for the arrows down on the Heikanashi wait for the arrows down on the Heikanashi okay but that would be where you should be looking now alright let's have a look yeah you see they've gone up because they didn't have an arrow they've gone up a bit same with the um, GCAD here and look you see it this yellow's taking them up here uh, right let's just fast forward again a bit yeah again no arrow but I mean I think I took my second trade there guys on this on this if I remember rightly for two tens but it, it does go anyway again there's your Heikenashi on the GCAD I know it's coming back a bit but don't worry about it look you've still got the signals to say it's going further alright this at least to this orange line here GU's gone through it hasn't got a signal but look what it's got on the one hour double top um, red yellow MIM very very powerful the longer that stays red yellow the better alright the strongest signal here guys let's fast forward yeah and there you go you see if you waited for it you know again I think that was my third trade down there for tens same here tens two tens plus I had the um, long trade going in there and again look if you waited look it went back to the um, five minute orange line pierced it and then went down same with the G cad look back to it and bang down twice there there and there okay and and again the one I was evolved look alright so these are the number ones Ooh, excuse me and look just look at this setup now how it's evolved so the fact that this signal's appeared here on the 8 hour price is going to here why do I know it's going to there not just because there's a red pink on the eight hour but because the four hours are red yellow okay the one hour mim look at that double top there bang right down right down okay um again do you look at this signal here now and say oh it, it could go against me now because there's a yellow on the five minute normally yes but this candle hasn't touched here right so there are some people in the room that will hold out for that same with the GCAD you know it, well it has touched has touched the one hour um, orange line here so again if you're not sure get out take your profit that, these were massive massive moves guys I don't think oh, okay, you can get more and then all of a sudden it goes against you for a bit you know just just take it take the profit look you see yeah you know that effectively warned you what was coming so just just get out the money okay so we, you know I've shown you there we've had um, uh, that's the other thing as well guys just after you have big moves like this G card and the, and the GU it's not gonna go on going down forever so don't think when it's this orange line again you know even if the signals are against you that it's gonna go down the chances are right that it's after a big big move like this you only get the two moves like that bang bang you see gcad down down and i don't think it's going to go down forever i'll just see if we can get to the end of this one yeah you see look the yellows warn you what was coming so take your take your profits or don't now think it's going to hit this orange line and go down it could do but again 15 minute signal now it's possible that the, the you know that these signals are done all right so basically there you had two um examples two really really good um examples right um one of a number two trade on the gu and the gcad which were here the bounces they didn't have signals with them but look you know and then you had the number one down here um, which evolved really ni really really nicely okay and that um, it was just the GU and the GCAD okay uh, see if I can find another way just to explain about um, how to 
you know, find that again. I don't think I can use that one. Right, okay, this this might serve. Right, as I said, judging, you know, um, finding support and resistance, finding the zone to trade in, you know, basically where to trade from and where to trade to. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Right, um, as BR puts it, uh, trading in between. Okay, um, again, look at the G, look. What's happened every time it's hit 15 minutes? come down back down with a trend back down with a trend okay um, sometimes they're messy like this but if you look at the G at the EU it's not really clear is it you know what the trend is the, the four hours saying up but we've had 12 hours coming down and a bit messy okay UCAD pretty clear what the trend is there bouncing off the 15 minute orange line look every time there's a whip there whip there okay so um yeah that to me the the 15 minute charts really important guys really important you if you haven't got a strong one hour signal against you then you for me you can um you know bounce off the 15 minute orange line basically that you see there has become resistance because it's a downtrend it's become resistance it can't get through okay because the signals are not strong look you know they're not strong signals that turns red yellow and you know it'll break that um, resistance there no no problem um, let's see what does eventually happen on that well you got some red yellows look red yellows red yellows a red pink here um, probably gonna go to the 30 minute orange line now let's have a look see what happens that you see this here on the five minute chart well what that is is 15 minute orange line see how it's struggling to get through it but once you've got above the five minute there look bouncing back up now so it's starting to turn around this i think if i fast forwarded this now that this signal will probably go to it if you know the one hour stays okay let's fast forward and see what happens and guys i can't remember this one so but it's just how I trade, how I judge things. Look, okay, look, this for me is going here. Right, and again, all this time you are constantly, you know, checking your one and fours. If a four hour appears, then the chances are, after you've, you know, gone through the 30 minute, it's gonna go to the one hour orange line, okay? So this, this signal here basically says to me that, um, price on the 30 minute will go to the orange line right and it then no four hour appears then that becomes resistance so in other words if I wanted to take a number two which is the trend trade I would take it off the 30 minute orange line comprende okay so let's have a look yeah. bang on it now oh there's a fresh one hour fresh one hour here you see but still it's only a yellow um no I, th I think you know to me now i would be looking for something down because you're right on the orange line there now all right so look yeah you see look you touched it and it's resistance but again look comfort is it, is it retesting this and then going to continue on up. Well, you the only way you'll know that's going to continue on up uh, is if you get something else. If that was red yellow, or a four hour appears, okay. But if not, this this could very well be a number two trade. You can't see if there's a high connection. It may have been. Uh, and again. Uh, yeah there you go look 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 guys look you see you see what happens there's no four hours somebody's pointing it out in the room and i never even noticed there's a daily down as well right somebody's pointing it out in the room 
it, it's not going to go to that orange line because there was nothing there and look what happened all right so effectively i knew that the 30 minute orange line was resistance okay because of the one hour signal takes price to the 30 minute orange line okay and then i'd be looking for a number two trade and bang absolutely bang it just cannot be clearer than that guys okay can't make it any clearer it's you know just oh it's so incredible how these um setups actually show you where price is going to go and i know people that have seen these signals and thought oh, it's going up i'm getting into the outside and then bang straight back down on you when it hit that orange line there okay so for people who are struggling if you want to ignore these these ups ignore them and wait until you get to the the orange lines wait until you get to resistance and then take it down wait till you get to support and then take it up as we did you know with the um uh last recording on the gu okay rocky focus man come on you can do this i know you can do this because it is that simple rocky okay this is what you look for all right okay guys um i don't think you need you know a really long video on this now this i've, I've tried to keep this um a short video because they've been getting longer and longer but it, I, i've shown you like three trades there two number twos and um in fact well in, in fact you could even call that gu trade up there um uh, a number one so you could have taken that because you knew where price was going to and if we look back to near the start of the this is the setup you got okay do you see it look this is the setup look green there telling you oh look at that a white following a green what did i tell you they did before hmm? but it had the help and look and this was against a, a pretty strong downtrend with a daily guys okay so um i remember lakshmi last week saying that um uh, she didn't trade because of all the dailies so lakshmi what you could have done is wait this out you see this wait it out right you knew that that could take price to this orange line here so you could have waited it out and then just took down with the daily okay lakshmi all right guys so i, I think um you know it, it's pretty pretty easy pretty easy to trade this system if you know what you're doing all right all, all and as i say for those that are struggling guys guys if just look at doing four trades per day right so if you'd have taken this set up here now okay you could have taken that up to this orange line so uh not sure what it was 600 to six that looks like 2650 so that, that was a 50 pip move there so you could have easily got 30 pips there and then you know when it when it eventually went down let's just get to it's gone down another 30 40 is it there <laughs> well more look look what it did it, it, it broke and that's what trends do they break support and resistance all right whereas against the trends don't you know because that there became your resistance because of the one hour signal and and it, it, you know once you understand this ugh, like i say you had a, a 30 40 pip win there and another 40 50 pip win down same same with the gcad again it was um correlating with the gu so you know you had it there okay so guys two four trades you could you could have had four two uh four trades here today this one this one this one and this one and that's without going with this huge trend on the gcad you know on the, sorry on the ucad so you have four mega trades on that day and these happen every day okay so those that are struggling take two take four take six trades a day all right um or do the scouts but just do the scouts off the um ha arrows make sure you've got a ha arrow with the setup 
okay bouncing off an orange line with the trend bouncing off resistance uh, with a number one you know and and or, or off support with a number one I mean, look at these guys look at their moves you had two trades there up and down on GU up and down on GCAD and there's, there's well over 200 pips there okay right that's it guys I think uh, as I say I think you know um, that'll kind of be enough I, don't, I, I can't honestly guys I cannot think of a way of making it any easier than just understanding that the orange line you know um, the orange lines and the BB bands what they are and, and when as I say when MT says we traded in between that's basically what it means you know you're trading from resistance to um, support and, and the orange line is either resistance uh, with a downtrend or support with um, an uptrend depending on what the signal on the bigger time frame tells you so if there's a one hour then you know a one hour up signal um, against a trend then resistance will be uh, the 30 minute orange line okay and 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 if you don't get a four hour or you don't get extra signals telling you it's going to break that line then it's not going to break that line guys it's not going to break it and you have to trust that if you cannot get your head around that then seriously you know maybe um uh, you want to do some um what do they call it pole dancing like monday does you know or something like that it's, I don't know. Strip dancing like Monday does at the Blue Oyster Bar. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, a decent video again, and I think it's you know enough that I think it really is. And uh, obviously, um, I'll see you in the room Monday. I'll come on Wednesday, and you know we'll go through it. All right, guys.